So you're looking for the get rich quick scheme in arms. Well, how does 240 coins an hour sound? What about 360? Not good enough for you? How about 720 arms coins an hour? Let's do this. Alright, so for this strategy, you're going to want to head into two player versus mode and then go right down to the bottom and click on training. For your character, you're going to want to use somebody with two of the uh, Megaton arms. You're going to want to equip both of them for the final battle. If you have the Megaton Plus, it's going to do a little bit extra damage and you might be able to do this even faster. But you're going to need the Megaton for sure. For your opponent character, it doesn't really matter who you pick, but I like to use Master Mummy just because he has a super large hitbox, and you can use his super armor to do some other stuff which we'll talk about later on. Once you get the hang of this strategy, you'll be able to do it with your eyes closed. You can just be watching YouTube videos or a movie, and just feel the vibrations and hear the sound effects in the background and know when to punch. You don't even have to look at the screen to do this strategy once you get the hang of it. Alright, once you're in, you're just going to want to go through the uh, little tutorial with both controls you can kind of do it at the same time with each of them uh, it's just like when it comes to the punches and the rush attacks and the grabs you kind of have to take turns but other than that you can get through this pretty quick just using you know one hand on each controller so once you're done the tutorial now is where the strategy starts I'm gonna go through it slow at first not in real time so it's not gonna be as fast as you're gonna be doing it at first I'm just gonna slow it down show you step by step what you need to be doing and this method is even faster than Abdallah Smash's method no disrespect to the man I love his channel been subscribed for the past few weeks but I think this method is even faster by a couple seconds so let's check it out you're gonna want to equip double Megaton doesn't really matter what Master Mummy is using and what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna dash forward to charge up your punches hit with one of them and then hit with the other I did it too slow there so it didn't get 130 damage with both of them but what you want is 130 damage with both so see there 130 and 130 you're gonna want to wait for your first punch to start coming back before you send the other one because if they're still in the hit stun I'll show you. If you're still in the hit stun, your second punch is only going to do half the damage of your first one. And you want them both to do 130, because then that's 130 and 130, so that's 260. You do that four times, and they're dead. So I'm going to show you in uh, real, real time speed here. You can get the clock to end at 88 or 89 seconds, depending on how fast you do it, which makes this strategy take 10 or 11 seconds top. So I'm going to try and show you in real time here. And there you go, 88 seconds on the clock. All right, I gotta turn the webcam on for this because I would argue that you can do this method so quickly and it is so easy that you don't even have to look at the screen. You don't even have to use two hands. You can just use one hand with the one Joy-Con. I'm just gonna look for the ARMS logo on screen to start my dash because like say you're watching a YouTube video or something, you can see the game pop up in maybe your peripheral vision or whatever, but I'm not gonna be looking at the screen. I'm gonna be holding an arm up in the air. So the TV screen with the webcam is here. My computer screen that also has a game feed is here, and I'm going to be looking at the wall behind me. So I'm going to wait, I'm going to look for the ARMS logo to start, and then I'm going to turn fully around and use one hand, and we'll get this bad boy going. Alright, there it is, my dash is buffered. He should be waking up right now. He should be waking up right now. And last one. Is that it? 88 seconds on the clock. There you go. So easy that you don't even have to look at the screen. You don't even have to use two hands while doing it. If you do it a little bit faster, and I'll show you how, you can get it to 89 seconds. So that means it's only taking 10 seconds per round. And this whole loading, loading screen section, just going back into the fight, the whole thing all together, the fight plus going through all the menus and whatnot, takes 20 to 25 seconds. So depending on how fast you do it with the whole menus and everything included, you can get 240 to 360 arms coins an hour. If you don't include the menus and the loading screens and whatnot, that is 720 arms coins per hour if you're doing it at 10 seconds a round. So the way you get it, the way you maximize your speed here is as soon as ARMS appears on the screen after the ready, 
As soon as arms appears on the screen, you can start holding the dash button to charge up your arms. And then what you want to do is when he's fallen on the ground, charge up your dash again. And as he's getting up, throw out your punch so it hits him right as he wakes up. And then you'll be able to end the clock right at 89 seconds. Let's do it. Well, bam there you go 89 seconds on the clock that means that round took 10 seconds multiply that by six for a whole 60 seconds and that is 12 arms coins every minute because you get two for each character 12 arms coins a minute times 60 minutes in an hour is 720 arms coins an hour that is insane now what i was talking about before with master mummy's super armor say if you have a friend here at your house with you you know grinding out these arms coins or you, you don't want to actually you know go super super fast and you want to use another hand you can actually do some sort of arms combinations that won't knock master mummy down uh with his super armor because these megatons are a little bit too strong and what you can do, oh, I don't have the right arms set up for this, but what you can do is actually get him to take a bit more punches, use a bit more powerful arms, and you might even be able to finish this at 90 seconds or 91 seconds. Now, I don't exactly have the right arms to properly test this out, but if you want to do other easier uh, methods, like Kid Cobra's grab does 170 damage, you can take Kid Cobra, you know, hit Master Mummy or whoever your opponent is in the face with an arm, and then uh, a charged arm, and then then do a 170 grab and that way you get like 250 260 damage per attack the, the problem is the grab animation takes a lot longer than just knocking them down and waiting for them to get back up so that is why this is the fastest method so far and like I said at the beginning of the video it's super super easy once you get the hang of it and you'll be able to do it with not even looking at the screen you can just watch YouTube watch a movie do whatever pet your dog do whatever you want to do do it with one hand you don't even have to look at the screen just feel the vibrations you get used to when the timing is for the punches you can dash with one hand and then punch with the same hand with the same thumb it's super super easy you might be able to skip the fourth rotation if you have the Megaton Arms Plus. It might do uh, enough damage so that you only have to do the combination three times, and then on the fourth one, just hit them with one punch instead of two. But other than that, this is the fastest possible method I can think of. So if you don't want to grind out party match, you don't want to grind out Grand Prix, you just want to get those arms so you can head into ranked match and party match with your right arms combinations, this is the method you got to be using. And if you guys want the get arms strategy, I have a lot of coins saved up. I've been grinding a lot of arms. I've been getting a lot of arms, practicing the get arms strategy. I'm going to be putting out a video in the very, very near future detailing the key secret to getting the most out of your arms coins. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button to let me know if you want to see more little guide style videos like this. And if you want to see some of my previous arms content, you can click the top video. And if you want to see my every character is good series in Super Smash Brothers, where I take some bottom tier characters, where I try to point out some of their pros and cons, then click the bottom video. As always, thanks for watching all the way until the end. I'm EMG Smash Central, and peace out.